We um, are moving on to item two, and it is announcements and additional business, and so there's a request for a sign variance on 554 Museum Road. Is, come on down. I bet we can do this pretty efficiently. James is going to present, and then we've got someone, I assume, to speak in favor of it. Uh, this is a, a request for an off-premise interstate sign, and so that's why it's coming before you. Uh, the, signing, the signage code uh, permits within a thousand feet of the uh, center line of I-40, it permits interstate sign zones, which those can be up to 300 square feet uh, in size and 75 feet tall. Um, this particular applicant is asking for that uh, to be placed on an off-site location uh, just to the north of the property on uh, the Hanks Fine Furniture property. This is being requested because of the uh, the visibility uh, to that property, uh, sort of to allow it to have visibility, better visibility towards Oak Street uh, is the reason for the request. Uh, the basis for variance review on an item like this uh, is uh, we, you can grant variances on matters of sign height, location, or other technical requirements when special conditions or circumstances exists that are not applicable uh, to other land structures or buildings such that little in, literal interpretation of the ordinance would result in undue hardship. Again, what they're requesting is a 75 foot tall, 300 square foot sign, which would otherwise be allowed uh, under, the, under the code, but it is being requested because it is offsite. Uh, so any, any questions? Thank you, James. To speak in favor? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Come on down. All right. So my name's Eric Bowen. I own Bowen Kemp Construction and Commercial Realty out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. To say that I've been working on an Olive Garden uh, is an understatement for a long time in this <laughs> town. Um, it's been one of, I've been all over the board with it. I finally got them to where we need them. They traditionally like to make me jump through every kind of hoop to find the best thing, but you know, as James had mentioned, um, that southbound traffic, I guess it is south, coming from uh, 65 down that way, uh, the corridor, it just sits best right in that little area. So I've agreed with the owner of Hanks, who I'm buying the property from, uh, to put that sign in that little, I guess, flower bed or whatever it is that he's got right there between him and Napa. Um, and we just feel like this will maximize our visibility uh, to the highway, which obviously our building will be very visible. Uh, we just want people to know where it's at, which, you know, they are the sleeping giant. They are uh, a very well-run operation. I've heard many of people talk about in here about how well they keep up properties, but I would challenge anybody in this room to go and find a property that's kept up better than what Darden does. They run a good operation. Um, we've got a design that will be coming into the city on the 20th, from Eric Richardson, our civil engineer. Um, we're real excited about it. This is the last little sticking piece that I need to get figured out. Um, he's with the sign company permitting that works with him nationwide. So any questions for him or me, we're, we're open, but this is very critical to get this deal approved and finalized and get the Olive Garden done in Conway. So that's it. I have a question for James, I believe, actually. And I was really good for that. My understanding, Hanks could put a sign there if they wanted to. They don't. They're selling, they're selling proposed Olive Garden, this piece of land, to put a sign there instead. It, 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 an easement. Yes. They're leasing, leasing part. Of e it. I can, I can do whatever y'all wanted to do. They don't care. I can buy it. I can lease it. But to be clear, Hanks, ha Hanks could put a sign there today with. Nothing else from yes. Yeah, so one of, one of the potential motions, yes. Hanks Hanks could put one there. They do not have one there. So one of the one of the potential motions before you would basically allow this in lieu of any future sign for Hanks. Um, if the you know the applicant released rights to the sign in the future, that would be the only situation in which uh, Hanks would have rights to the sign. So correct. And I think it's just important to note, too, that if this sign goes through and gets approved, Olive Garden will not be putting an additional freestanding sign on our property. This would be the sole freestanding sign for that property. 
For the record, can you state your name and your address? I apologize. No, now that you spoke, we got to have you do it. Yeah, yeah that's my fault. No, that's uh, okay. Charlie Shelley. <laughs> excuse me. Charlie Shelley, Site Enhancement Services, uh, 6001 Nymphs Parkway, South Bend, Indiana. To clarify, um, so if Hanks wanted to put the same sign there, would they have had to come before us for a variance? No, they they would not have. It, it, the, the only reason a variance is being sought is because it's it's off-premise, off-site. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's, that's the reason why. And then I just have a general question. This may be for them because I, I think, cause I, I, I don't think, well, I'm going to have any problem staying full, um, just in my opinion. We hear about it all the time, and people are always asking about it. But um, is there going to be a sign, like, on the free, you know, where you have the freeway sign that tells you about all the restaurants that are currently, I don't do that. currently driving up and down the highway? I did notice there are those signs, but I did not see any open for, in the restaurant section. Uh, typically, the, we call them trailblazers. Typically, okay. Darden or Olive Garden does seek to have representation on those signs, but um, unless I'm mistaken, there are no current open vacancies. And we're in a weird spot between Dave Ward and Oak Street. So really, which exit would you go and use? You know, I mean, because one of the selling points that I had for this property, and, and I know, James, I don't know if you remember this, but, you know, I was working with the energy site there um, on 60, which was Oak Street and 40. Um, and we were kind of going back and forth on that one. But you know, this property is just easily located between both exits, but which exit would the sign go on? Because you can get to it really both ways. If, if It was you know. just kind of a side note. Well, <laughs> and the reason why this sign is so important, and I think, you know, we touched on it a little bit, um, is because of that visibility on Oak Looking Down Museum. Um, it's a unique, I worked with a lot of garden restaurants. This is what I do. Um, I help them place their signage. I help them with their branding. Um, driving up and down the highway, obviously it's going to be clearly visible. There's no vegetation along the roadway. It's perfect sight, but getting to it is going to be a little bit of a struggle. So after, you know, a motorist exits um, off the highway and they get on to Oak, um, the sign where we have it proposed is going to be a nice clear shot right down the museum and it'll help navigate back to, you know, yes, there's a lot of people from the community that will visit this Olive Garden, but there's going to be a lot of people driving up and down the highway that are not familiar with that aren't going to have it typed into their GPS, that they're going to see the building. They're going to say, hey, let's stop here, kids, you know, be quiet in the back. Let's go to Olive Garden, throw some breadsticks in you. And, you know, they're going to be able to see that sign. They're going to be na able to navigate down museum after they see it on Oak. So it's really important for us. Any other questions for the applicants? Thank you, guys. Let's bring it back into commission. Discussion? Anyone feel compelled to make a motion? So, yes. I would make a combined motion of the first two. So a variance to approve our proposed sign support structure. I'm sorry. I lied. I think that, yeah. Strike so that. I think that all four of those are part all of together. the, would be the potential for consideration if you were making that motion. Great. That is the motion that I'm making. Well, <laughs> I, so here's the question that I've been reeling with until we get to this. Do we need to read all this or do people know what this is? Like, do they know what this motion is? So uh, we, we have some examples just to keep us on track. So the, the staff sample motion on this would be a move to approve the variance request with the following conditions. Variance approval shall be limited to the current proposed sign support structure. If the sign support structure is removed, excluding modifications to the sign cabinet, it may not be replaced unless conforming to the sign code. No additional freestanding signage shall be permitted at the site where the sign is proposed, 650 Museum Road. The property to the south intended for the future Olive Garden location shall not be permitted any on-site freestanding signage if rights to the sign approved by this variance are assigned to the lot on which it sits, 650 Museum Road. Freestanding signage may be permitted on the site intended for the future Olive Garden, 554 Museum Road. Any landscaping displaced by the sign installation shall be replaced as indicated in the applicant's proposed plans. Are you good with that? Drew, is that your motion? That is my motion. Thank you, James. Is there a second? Second. second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone, op sorry. <laughs> Anyone opposed? All right. With that, your motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time this evening. We have come to the end of our agenda. Anything from the commission?